Y'all, I'm Ice Spice's ex-girlfriend, and everything that Cleo was saying is... My experience firsthand with the whole Ice Spice and Cleo tension shit. As some of you may know or probably don't know, I am a personal stylist, and I was hired as a backup stylist for Ice Spice. All right, y'all, here's the truth. I am Ice's makeup artist, and I'm here to tell you guys the truth about what happened with her and Cleo. Y'all, I'm Ice Spice's ex-girlfriend, and everything that Cleo was saying is true. It's It's been a long time coming, y'all. Like, yo, I kid you not, I would be like, yo, let's Uber eat something, right? Like, you know, whatever. So, like, I would be like, oh, what you want, whatever. She'd be like, oh, I'll just do some chicken nuggets. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So, I would order, like a chicken sandwich, some french fries, and a drink. And she's like, damn, you you big back ass. And I'm like, okay. So, like, every time, like, I would just be like, fuck it. Like, I will just get a salad from Chick-fil-A or something. And, like, she always made me feel self-conscious. And, like, she was always also, like, calling me, like, a black bitch this, like, you black dyke this. And I don't know. Like, I thought it was, like, just part of the hood mentality. Like, she a Bronx, she a Bronx shorty. I'm from the Bronx, so, like, why not? But... I don't know. Cleo is not capping. My experience firsthand with the whole Ice Spice and Cleo tension shit. As some of you may know or probably don't know, I am a personal stylist and I was hired as a backup stylist for Ice Spice Tour. And when I say everything that Cleo was saying is dead ass true, is dead ass true. So basically, I was more on the side with Spice. They had me like all in her rooms, like I'm all on that side, like, you know, like, I wasn't over there with Cleo and them. Like, they was singling them out. Like, you know, the other hairstylists and all that type of shit, they were singling them out. Okay, it was a few things that caught me off guard. The first thing that caught me off guard was, when I first made it there, okay, I get with Spice, and me and her cool as hell, so we just be regularly talking about shit. I see she type got an attitude, so I asked her like, what's up, like, you good type shit? Like, you know, filling her out. She like, oh yeah, I'm cool, woo, woo. It's just Cleo black ass doing too much. I'm like, damn, hold up. She like, oh, she think like my work is supposed to be working with her. Like she think everybody that's here for me is supposed to be here for her. Like, girl, where's your team at? Wooty wooty woo. So you know me, like I'm like, yeah, like I feel you type shit, I feel you. But I'm already knowing that Cleo was already coming last minute. So like, you know, but I'm still thinking at the same time, like she got a group, she got people that's there for her. Like she got her people. But to find out she didn't, like, you know, while I was there, like, you know, it was like, damn. So that was that. And I guess that's what Cleo talking about when she said the whole, like, the bag shit with the security guard and shit like that. Mind you, we in Texas. So we is at the hotel and shit. It's in the middle of nowhere. Everybody hungry. Everybody hungry. And Spice, like, when she want to eat, she want to eat. So Spice say, like, all right, y'all, we finna go get something to eat real quick. Come on. So I'm like, um, where Cleo and them at? Like, Cleo and them coming too? She like, oh, they all want to be grouped up all on the other side of the hotel. Like, fuck it, I'm hungry. I don't got time to be waiting for nobody. So I'm like, damn, like, you know, like, but I wasn't finna say nothing, though. I wasn't finna text Cleo. I wasn't even finna, like, you know, I'm letting shit play. I was finna play. So we go, we go get something to eat type shit. We at the steakhouse and shit like that. And Cleo is texting her while we at the steakhouse. She texting her like, hey, boo, da 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 da, -da I'm hungry, da 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 da, -da. like, y'all don't want to go get nothing to eat, woo, woo, woo. Spice not texting back. Like, I see the message, Spice not texting back. So she not texting back and shit. I'm feeling bad. Like, I'm like, damn. So I make sure, like, I was bringing some extra food back because I'm like, you know, I'm going to just, you know, split my shit with them. So we get back to the hotel and shit. I go up there and I go up in the room and I'm like, yeah, so y'all still hungry? Woo, woo, I brought some food back. She like, what the fuck you mean you brought some food back? Like, woo, woo, woo. You went to McDonald's? Like, da, 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 da. I'm like, no, nah, we went to the steakhouse. She like, no, like, what? My fuckers got me fucked up, Z. Hell no, nah. like, I'm tired of this shit. I already been going through this shit these last few days. Fuck this. She's self considerate, all of this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't even know why she brought me here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, fuck this. Like, basically, like, she was ready. Like, she was ready to start, you know, getting active. So I'm trying to calm her down and shit like that because, like, I don't really want no tension. I don't really want no shit to go on. 
Plus two, like I had just walked down there to their room. So it was going to seem like I probably just came back and instigated some shit and started some shit. So I'm like, let me not even be on that type of time. So I'm trying to calm her down. I end up being able to calm her down and shit like that. She calms down. She like, nah, man, though. Like, I really want to say something. Woo, woo, woo. But you know what? Like, you right. I'm going to give it time and shit. Like, I'm going to just wait until it's more ending towards it. And I'm going to text her. Woo, woo, woo. Like, you know, and I'm like, shit. Like, you know, do what you got to do. So now I get back in the room with Ice. She on FaceTime with Riot. She letting him know, like, yeah, um, she doing too much. She blowing my scale. She was like, bitches got to go. They asking for too much. Woo, woo, woo. Bitches acting broke. Like, I'm really tired of her black ass. And I'm like, damn, like, why do she keep saying this? Like, what? And, you know, I'm not really thinking nothing too much of it because, like, you know, like, I guess she mixed with black or something like that. But, like, to actually hear Cleo's whole story, that bitch colorist, like, she, yeah. And Spice, like, I know you probably ain't fucking with me after this, but shit. I'm black my damn self. And I'm walking around this bitch looking like Boo Boo the Fool to support you. And you black ass this, black ass that, and was treating the old girl how you was treating her. Shit. You know? So I walk out the room real quick to go spark my one, two, one, two type shit. And as I'm out there, I'm like, damn, like, I feel bad for Cleo type shit. And I really felt like Spice wasn't seeing what she was doing, but she knew what she was doing, but she wasn't seeing, like, how brutal that shit really was. So I text her, like, you know, trying to let her know, like, hey, friend, like, I think you low-key tweaking. Like, you know, you probably, you know, Think about how you look, you probably got old girl feeling type shit. I'm finna post the messages in the next video. I'm finna do the next video right now, so just go to my page and I'm finna have the next video posted. Texting her while we at the steakhouse. She texts her like, hey boo, da 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 da, I'm hungry, da 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 da, like y'all don't wanna go get nothing to eat, woo woo woo. Spice not texting back, like I see the message, Spice not texting back. So she not texting back and shit, I'm feeling bad, like I'm like, damn. So I make sure like I was bringing some extra food back, cause I'm like, you know, I'ma just, you know, split my shit with them. So we get back to the hotel and shit, I go up there and I go up in the room and I'm like, yeah, so y'all still hungry, woo woo woo, I brought some food back. She like, what the fuck you mean you brought some food back, like woo woo woo, you went to McDonald's, like da 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 da. I'm like, no, we went to the steakhouse. She like, no, like what, my fuck got me fucked up, see hell no, like I'm tired of this shit, I already been going through this shit these last few days, fuck this. She's self considerate, all of this, woo woo woo, I don't even know why she brought me here, woo woo woo, like fuck this. Like basically, like she was ready, like she was ready to start, you know, getting active. So I'm trying to calm her down and shit like that because, like, I don't really want no tension, I don't really want no shit to go on. Plus, two, like, I had just walked down there to that room. So it was gonna seem like I probably just came back and instigated some shit and started some shit. So I'm like, let me not even be on that type of time. So I'm trying to calm her down. I end up being able to calm her down and shit like that. She calms down. She like, nah, man, though, like, I really wanna say something, woo woo woo, but you know what, like, you right, I'm gonna give it time and shit, like, I'm gonna just wait until it's more ending towards it, and I'm gonna text her, woo woo woo, like, you know, and I'm like, shit, like, you know, do what you gotta do. So now I get back in the room with Ice. She on FaceTime with Ryan. She letting him know, like, yeah, um, she doing too much. She blowing my scale. She was like, bitches gotta go. They acting for too much. Woo, woo, woo. Bitches acting broke. Like, I'm really tired of her black guys. And I'm like, damn, like, why does she keep saying this? Like, what? And, you know, I'm not really thinking nothing too much of it because, like, you know, like, I guess she mixed with black or something like that. But, like, to actually hear Cleo's whole story, that bitch color is like, she, yeah. And Spice, like, I know, you probably ain't fucking with me after this, but shit. I'm black my damn self. And I'm walking around this bitch looking like boo boo the fool to support you. And you black ass this, black ass that, and was treating the old girl how you was treating her. Shit, you know? So I walk out the room quick to go spark my one, two, one, two type shit. And as I'm out there, I'm like, damn, like, I feel bad for Cleo type shit. And I really felt like Spice wasn't seeing what she was doing, but she knew what she was doing, but she wasn't seeing, like, how brutal that shit really was. So I text her, like, you know, trying to let her know, like, hey, friend, like, I think you low key tweaking. Like, you know, you probably, you know, think about how you low key probably got old girl feeling type shit. I'm gonna post some messages in the next video. I'm gonna do the next video right now, so just go to my page, man. I'm gonna have the next video posted. Ice Spice has reacted to losing over 540,000 followers after her feud with Cleopatra. Ice has recently faced backlash after Cleopatra launched a scathing TikTok rant against her. She alleged that Ice and her team refused to pay for her hotel, wardrobe, and even food after inviting her to open for Ice on her tour. Cleopatra thinks that her former friend mistreated her and didn't give her enough time to prepare for the tour. Some fans slammed Cleopatra for her accusations, saying that the invitation was an opportunity and that the budget for the tour was for ICE and her production, not for her opener. They think that the investment in wardrobe and hotels would have been more than worthwhile for Cleopatra as she has increased her popularity as a result of opening for ICE. Other fans have slammed ICE, saying that she has disrespected her former friend. They say that the budget for her her tour would have been so high that surely they could have found some space to fit in hotels and food for Cleopatra at least. They say that Ice has forgotten what it's like to be an up-and-coming artist. It seems as though the fans slamming Ice have started to unfollow her too, as Ice has lost over half a million followers since Cleopatra uploaded her TikTok. And now, 
underneath a quote that says, I don't give any reason for anyone to hate me. They create their own little drama out of jealousy. Ice Spice left a comment. In her comment, she said, Truth. Ice is suggesting that Cleopatra might not be telling the truth and is potentially using her name for clout, and it's obvious that she doesn't really care that people are unfollowing her. One fan said, Ice Spice is right. Haters gonna hate. It's obvious that some people are just jealous of her success and are looking for any excuse to bring her down. I'm still a fan and I'm not going anywhere. Another fan said, Ice Spice is being arrogant. Losing half a million followers is a big deal and she should take it seriously. Maybe there's some truth to Cleopatra's accusations. Ice Spice needs to address the situation instead of dismissing it. For this video's comment question, whose side are you on? Before you go, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for daily news updates on your favorite celebs. Thanks a lot for watching. All right, y'all, here's the truth. I am Ice's makeup artist, and I'm here to tell you guys the truth about what happened with her and Cleo. So, my friend's over there laughing because she thinks it's, like, actually insane what happened. Like, she wasn't there, but I was FaceTiming her the whole time. So, basically, everything that Cleo was saying is very much true. And I'm, I'm, I, I didn't want to get on no platform and talk about what happened because, you know, I do work with her and I have been working with her for some time now, but it just, it just hurts my heart to see another black woman be put down. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like I had to get on, get on here and just, you know, back her up because I'm sorry. Just hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, seriously. I'm back together. I just, it just really gets me. Because, like, why would she do that to not only me, but her friend? And it really got me because it was like, she never treated me this way before. You know, I always do her makeup. We're always traveling together, like, always, always, always. And give me one second. I'm sorry, someone was calling me. But it was just like, when we got left, this is this is what did it for me. Because we're like, okay... Yeah, we got on the bus for a couple hours, went to sleep. Okay, that was, that was, for me personally, that was fine because it was nothing but a nap. I went to sleep. So when we went and we were in that hotel and they left us, that's when I knew, that's when I knew, like, Ice, like, like, was, like, I'm your makeup artist. Like, I got to eat. Like, I got to be able to do your face. I can't be doing this on the empty stomach. And it just, this is just... <laughs> I'm laughing because this is so crazy. Like, you gonna do that to me? Y'all went to a steakhouse. You get me? You following? I went to a steakhouse. And all we wanted to do was walk to McDonald's. <laughs> and like... <gasps> all right, y'all. The jig is up. Like, she's caught basically like that's that's that that's all i wanted to come on here and say like she's called but yeah cleo too you forgetting a whole bunch of other shit that happened too or like to mention it like when we was in miami in a truck on the way to the club and you was on aux Y'all, I don't know if this girl forgot to unadd the album or something, but y'all know who album rocking right now. Y'all knew what the fuck came up. <laughs> yeah. Ice was heated. Brokey. <laughs> so obviously, you know, Ice tell her like, she like, turn that weak ass shit off. And like the way she was looking at her and the way she said it, it was like, she basically said, I'm finna smack the shit out you. <laughs> so now, right, we pull up to the club. So we in a club, we in a corner. It's me, Cleo, and Riot. We letting Ice, like, be all up in the front, do her thing right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm peeping. Ice keep turning back around to see where Riot at. So it's me, Cleo, Riot. So I can tell Ice was low-key, like, what the fuck? Like, why is he on that side? Why he, you know, that type of shit. So she keep looking back with a stink face. But she not saying nothing, but we all slick, like, you know, like, she just want her man up there type shit. So, you know, Riot being cool, like, he talking to Cleo and shit like that. Like, he low-key was peeping what the fuck was going on. And he was low-key, like, feeling bad type shit. Like, I can tell he was low-key feeling bad about that shit. So, you know, he, like, passing shots. He passing her shots. She passed me the bottle. We hitting the bottle, shit like that. But once he actually passed her the bottle, that made Ice, like, come back around, like, to come grab him type shit. She all, like, bring your ass over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She not even telling us to come over there. Like, we like, what the fuck? Like, that shit weird as hell. So now, as the club, like, ending, we supposed to be leaving and shit like that. Now we 
it's two separate trucks outside. Like, you know, obviously stating that it was going to be two different rides. So Ice and Riot, they get in one truck, me, Cleo, and this other girl get in the other truck. And we was just all talking all over it, like what we thought over the night type shit. And we all low-key peeped and thought the same thing, like, did she think Riot was on that type shit? Like, what, what type of time she was on? But shit, ain't no type of time that Riot was on, too, though. Because Cleo was looking good as fuck, I ain't gonna lie. All right, so now we in the car, and like I said, Riot was already peeping that Ice was low-key doing Cleo Petty. So he ended up texting her. And when he texted her, this how we knew her ass was on some weird shit and she felt some type of way. Like, what she said was just out of proportion. Like, she she was doing way too much. Like, I ain't even know the bitch talk like this. And for all the motherfuckers that saying I'm trolling and shit, no, I'm not trolling. Like, she fired me, so it's like, fuck, I might as well. Like, I might as well. Cleo was there, right, about Ice Spice. I do think she mishandled that girl on the tour. But I don't think that she and a lot of other people understand how tours work. Hold on. I'm Inslee, producer PR girly, but I also used to work in the music industry. Now I'm in television. When I got my start in the music industry, I was working with people touring and events. So this is not new to me. When you go on tour, you pay for everything. You come out of pocket for every single thing. Cardi B even spoke on this years ago. Like, I, if y'all remember it, and somebody stitched the clip, whatever, Cardi B talked about how every single thing that goes on a stage, you have to pay for it out of pocket. The event she was talking about, though, was like birthday bash or like summer jam or some, some one-off. It wasn't a tour, so she wasn't talking about all the other expenses. Your label will hook you up with a booking agent. They will hook you up with all the promotion in the world. But when it comes down to actually getting on that plane, booking them hotels, doing you have to pay for that that's why people get in advance these people are here to help you book large venues and promote the thing that you're going to do with these large venues that's it and i get that it's a really cute idea to take your advance and run off and go get a chain everybody want to run off and go get a chain cool but this is how people end up in 360 deals with their label this is how people end up owing a lot of money when it comes down to this touring stuff and this music industry and end up twisted all up in the game because you didn't know what to expect. I get the sense that Ice Spice knew that that girl was very popular and has been very popular on the internet for a long time. I get the sense that Ice Spice had to pay for a lot of stuff in her label and she is very well versed on what the finances and the breakdowns of this stuff looks like. And I get the sense that because she knows that, she decided and took it upon herself to say, well, you know what, since I am coming out 12% for a manager, 8%, 10%, 11% for a booking agent, another percent for my regular agent, a percent for my security stylist, da, da, da. the list goes on. I get the sense, I get the feeling that she was being that selfish because that's how the game go. And that doesn't make it better. If that's really your friend, you're not supposed to do your friend like that. But I think some details was left out. I don't treat Cleo like trash, eight. You... It's all love and respect over here. Oh my God. Now, sometimes I might say something goofy or whatever, but that don't mean I ain't got love for her. We all make mistakes. We all say things we shouldn't sometimes. Trust you... me. When it comes to Cleo, I'm always going to have her back and shower her with respect. She's a talented and hardworking artist, and I'm here to support her all the way. Then why did you make the comment on how she ate like a vacuum just because she ate her food? That's, isn't that rude of you to do? Like, girl, don't... Look, don't. that comment was a mistake, eh? I ain't proud of it or nothing, and I definitely know it wasn't cool to say. But the point here is, fam, I ain't trying to put Cleo down or make her feel bad. Honestly, it was just a dumb thing to say, and I ain't finna do it again, you feel me? Get it together, Ice. Hey. Here, fam. The internet can be savage and people love jumping to conclusions. But you gotta remember, you're only getting snippets of my life online. Don't judge me just based on what you see on the internet. There's more to the story than what you catch glimpses of. Real time. I got flaws, I make mistakes, and sure, I might say some things that rub people the wrong way sometimes. But that'll make me a shitty person, you know? I guess so, but it's still rude. Like, the way you responded to Cleo saying she felt, like, unwanted on the tour and she felt left out, that was so rude of you. Like, you should not have done any of that, Ice. You're being rude and disrespectful. Look, 
You're right. My response to Cleo wasn't cool. I should have been more understanding and supportive. Why is she agree? And I feel really bad about it now. I think I was just trying to downplay the situation and not make it a big deal. But that ain't what Cleo needed from me at the moment. I should have listened to her and been more sensitive to her feelings. Why are you being so sarcastic? It's so obvious that you're being so sarcastic, like, girl. Be so serious right now. <laughs> There's no way you're real, like. Wait, whoa, hold up. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm serious right now. Sorry if it comes off that way. That's not the intention, fam. I'm trying to be real here. And I'm admitting that I messed up with Cleo. Look, I ain't perfect. I make mistakes. It happens. Trigger warning, I'm gonna say something mean. I Spice 100% overestimates her talent and also the level of attractiveness that she is. Like, no one ever thought that you were super talented. Never, ever. Like, the girls thought you were making cute little fun catchy songs and it was fun while it lasted, but people who care about real music got sick of it really quickly. And your looks, they just they just can't carry an entire career. I'm sorry, they don't. Like, everybody was always talking about how you had a crazy fat ass and then you lost all that weight and you just have, like, a regular normal size fat ass now. Like, no one was ever going crazy behind that face card. I'm sorry. So with all that said, getting cocky and, like, arrogant the way you've gotten is crazy. Sorry, but it needs to be said. Being a mean girl and being a bitch is reserved for super, super, super uber talented people. It's reserved for the Mariah Carey's. It's reserved for the Doja Cats. It's reserved for the Nicki Minaj's, right? Like, they can be mean and they can be rude and still have careers because they're so talented. They're doing something that nobody else can do. Nobody else can re replicate. They are not easily replaceable. So, therefore, audiences will allow them to be bitches. And they will just, audiences will just get over it when they drop a new song, when they do a new performance, and it's fucking phenomenal. It's fucking amazing. Audiences will be like, uh, and they'll get deja vu. You are a less than mediocre artist and performer and you behave badly in your personal life and we see it when you go up on stage and you grab that mic i don't forget it's actually the only thing on my mind saying that you make cleo is weird when mm, that was too good let's get that bill per we were all saying that for like a year before we even knew who you were ice i would argue that if anything cleo being friends with you was helping you out it was helping your image it made you look credible and now I'm starting to question if Ice Spice is even really Dominican. Because it is an insane. I, any Dominican mother would be throwing up and like ready to jump off a building if she found out that her daughter was taking her friends places and refusing to feed her friends. Refusing to feed to make sure that her friends had somewhere to lay their head at night. Like that is Dominican mom 101. Like my mom would show up on tour and beat my ass if she found out that's how I was treating people. Her mom must have had her when she was like 13. Because there's no way. There's no way. Any old school Dominican mom would lose their fucking mind. They found out that you were out with people and weren't feeding the people you were with. I say all that to say is that Cleo will be just fine because Cleo is talented. And I'm not just talking about music, which I don't think her music is bad. But even if her music stuff doesn't work out, she's funny. She's personable. People like her. That's how she built her entire platform. So no matter what, she always if her music fails, she has a plan B. She can do other shit. Her career will be just fine. Ice Spice, on the other hand, is proving that she's not likable and her music sucks. So if her music continues to fail, what does she have to lean back on? What else can she do besides her fat ass? What else does she have? Ice Spice is a widow. First off, let me start by saying I knew or heard of Cleo before I knew or heard of Ice Spice. If you know, you know Cleo been around. Been around. So for Ice Spice to feel like she could be playing like she big dog over Cleo is beyond crazy. People like Ice Spice, the reason why I try to be as independent as I can, unless I feel like that person is genuine. Cause what? Why would you tell her to come on tour with you not even 48 hours before? She specifically asked you, oh, what would I have to pay for? Da -da -da, so she can prepare herself if she did have to pay for anything so even if she did it wouldn't have probably it probably wouldn't have been a problem for her and you told her nothing because she's good and then when you get there it's a whole different situation and then you try to embarrass her not once but multiple times like asking her if she was gonna get a room after you just said that she was with you and she was gonna be good on tour is beyond crazy and then trying to call her a bum two years ago you was just looking up to her but we look up to bums now that's that's what we do. Being a bum is an aspiration in life, like. And I'm not gonna lie, she started wilding with that bum word, cause she's really a bum. Once again, Cleo been doing the way before Ice Spice. She delusional. Need to get the Mario coins knocked out of her. I can't be the only one who felt like they caught a stray when Ice said Cleo was eating like a vacuum. Cause me, bitch? Oh, I'm against 
to it. She would be calling me fucking Dyson because I don't play about my food. I don't care who's around, hungry or not, I'm getting down. Get me another plate. What's embarrassing about eating? Lord knows that you was wearing bodysuits and Jordans when you first came out. Now all of a sudden, it's mini skirts, it's little dresses, and big chunky boots. Like, girl, that's me. And I let you have it because I thought we was friends. But boo, you gonna have to give it back and figure something out now because I. I wasn't gonna say nothing about it, but y'all better watch how y'all treat people when y'all plan on going places. Spice Ice ass about to be canceled, and that motherfucking best friend Cleo that then came out and told the motherfucking truth about her about to be a bigger motherfucking celebrity than she is. Don't get too big for your britches. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think you guys ever really liked Ice Spice. And I know people are gonna disagree. Well, no, I did like her, but then she did this, and then she did that, and then she called herself Miss Poopy, but she knew that I was already Miss Poopy, and this town ain't big enough for two Miss Poopies. I don't care about all of that. I don't think you guys really liked her. I think you were content with her, and I think you were like, well, it's okay that she's famous, until you weren't. It's like a confluence of a lot of things, but I think the main thing is just that she never really had like a core fan base. Her fan base was always somebody else's fan base. It was the Barb's, it was Swifties, it was whatever Drake's fans are called, if he even still has any. The dogs, I guess, I don't know. But her fan base was always tied to someone else's. And when Nicki Minaj fell at the hands of Megan Thee Stallion, Drake fell at the hands of Kendrick Lamar, and Taylor Swift fell at the hands of everyone who was sick of hearing about her, it was kind of just over for her. And like, even when she came out and she got that Drake co-sign and everyone was talking about her, I remember people being like, this fucking sucks. I can't understand why anyone would wanna listen to this. There was like a very brief moment in time, maybe like a day or two, where everyone was equally enthusiastic about Ice Spice because they were like, well, she has no bad tweets and she's, you know, makes decent music. And sometimes it's fun to party to her songs and she's funny. And that was over as soon as it started. Like, I don't think there was ever a moment where people were like super duper hype about Ice Spice. And like with all of the shit that's happened with her recently, Recently, I don't think any of it is bad enough for it to be like a career ender. And I don't mean that in like a moral sense. I mean like compared to other people who have done equivalent things. Ariana Grande at the top of this year had a homewrecking scandal where she was accused of taking someone's husband from them. And by the time she released the album, everyone was like, guys, come on. She didn't, she wasn't thinking. She was off her, her medication. Now she's back on. She's not gonna do it again. Come on. We missed the pony. We all missed the ponytail. Come on, everyone. Thing is, the music bopped, so nobody gave a fuck. In Ice Spice's case, people were getting sick of the music. All it took was one girl being like, he was posted up with a buddy in Chrome Hearts. All of a sudden it was like, this bitch is not a girl's girl. She's evil. That to me would only seem like it was an overreaction if it was not someone who people were already getting sick of. And I'm not gonna speculate on whether or not it's true, but I don't think it's that bad that she was doing promo for a song with the person that she made the song with. Like, I don't find that to be a damning accusation. The whole thing with Cleo Trappa, I remember a few years ago, there was that video of that girl being like, Cardi B was a piece of shit to me when I was her hairdresser. I haven't seen a single person bring that up since then. I think people, again, are like, oh my God, like this proves everything I already thought about Ice Spice. It's like, well, if you already thought that about Ice Spice, then, then the response she gave was obviously fucking stupid, but it's the same kind of response that like Nicki Minaj would have given to something like this in 2017. And everyone would have been like, that's the queen for you. Like she doesn't take any shit and nobody can tell her anything. Unfortunately, Ice Spice has not been dubbed the queen of anything, but lyrics about shit. And let me talk about that too, because even that is has become a topic of contention. Well, she sucks so bad because she can't stop talking about shit. Uh, J. Cole, you have a lot to fucking answer for on that front. Let me just say that. They're like shit lyrics in hip hop are not new. I'm the shit, I'm farting. Like that's, are, do, are you guys just have like short term memory loss? What's going on? I don't think that that is the reason you guys don't like her. This is not even me defending Ice Spice. It's simply me saying like people coming out and saying like, this is her downfall. I think her downfall began long before this. I think her downfall started when her career started and people are just now realizing that they never really enjoyed her to begin with. Why is your production saying that I'm not a part of the budget for a chicken salad? 
chicken salad. How am I not a part of the budget, but y'all invited me on tour? Like, you thinking that my people's that work for me is supposed to work for you too? Like, that's so crazy to me. Like, we didn't eat at all. We're trying to figure out how to get a McDonald's and y'all all ate already? You even told me to tell your security to bring the bags upstairs. So why would it be a problem for him to bring the bags back to the car? Trying to press me about some bags, that you gotta carry some bags. What? Like, and I'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled. You told me that I was gonna be good. I couldn't even get a chicken salad. At the end of the day, it's whatever, bro. Like, I'm about to actually go to sleep. that you was wearing bodysuits and Jordans when you first came out. Now all of a sudden, it's mini skirts, it's little dresses and big chunky boots. Like, girl, that's me. And I let you have it because I thought we was friends. But boo, you gonna have to give it back and figure something out now. You not gonna tell the people how we was at an Italian restaurant and you ate so much food, you vacuum? Oh my God, just went on tour with somebody that hates my gut. added another tour bus so i'm like now we have extra room if did you have the chicken salad or not did you have the chicken salad or not isis perform like bitch we was having fun so for you to try to sit here and complain about a chicken salad it's like you never came to me talking about a chicken salad what are you really talking about right now you got less than ten thousand listeners and i'm sharing my stage with you and you feeling so entitled how I'm in the shower, you gon' you gon' barge in while I'm butt ass naked, trying to press me about some bags that you gotta carry some bags. I can't even focus. Who the fuck is this Prince J nigga, bro? Like you, the whole ass is on the profile. But like I can't even focus, dude. This nigga looking at me like he trying to fucking shit. Other people, how we was at an Italian restaurant and you ate so much fucking food, you fucking vacuum that the server was like, where did the food go? Thank you.